This is a disassembly of a rotary compressor pump Mitsubishi built. Refrigerant trapped under this bolt. Oil baffle, pump basically underneath that. Inside here. Oh, that was a good one. That's why you wear goggles. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of refrigerant and oil foaming out from under these bolts. Down on a bit of gas pressure. Ooh! <laughs> That's good old R22 for those tree huggers out there. there. Ain't nothing you can do about it either. Get pissing as you screw it out. Funny smell to it, the old R22. It smells quite nice. Don't know whether it's any good for you though. That's a good one. Fitting, fitting. <laughs> there we go. There's a howling. Getting off. Mitsubishi high capacity rotary pump. Single rotor obviously, some of them are twin rotors. I notice the DC inverters are twin rotors. Pretty damn big. Can't get the seal out, un out undoing the springs. But there you have it. Well, this here is the discharge valve assembly. Got three little reeds and three ports inside the housing. As the rotor comes around clockwise, it squeezes the gas up to up against this seal and forces it out through these little valves. Oops, and through the discharge passage, which is actually down through there, little pinhole. And the valves just act to check the flow. So when the compressors stop stopped in theory you shouldn't get any gas bleeding back through. It's just held in place with a couple of cap screws. Down in here, like so. So those little reeds act 
to prevent any blowback and optimize compressor uh, efficiency. And obviously let's get this charge in under here. Not sure if you can see that, we've got two cap screws and the springs for the sliding seal and that's your suction port there as well on the other side of the seal Go through there and into the chamber and quite a neat little gizmo this here is also your uh, oil pump it just uses centrifugal force to siphon oil up through the spindle and spray it out through these galleries into the rotor housing as well as the main motor bearing down here. They don't actually have a separate oil pump or anything in them, it's just centrifugal force. Well, it's crude, but I think I found the best way to demonstrate these compressors. running in the correct direction and basically all it's doing is drawing gas from the suction side of the compressor down into this chamber and just squeezing it around against the steel and out through these little reed valves. Of course this isn't compressing anything because there's no head on it. If there was a head on it you would have high pressure gas coming out the back side here through that little round hole. When it's running you get a lot of oil passed up past through this seal as well which might help keep it in contact with the rotor. A little baffle inside the oil pump too. I might take one of these and just see how long it lasts revving at full speed with no oil. See if you can actually destroy one. I've never seen one actually seize up or burn out. 